Hey, this is Eric over at Techno RV, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to install the Soft Start RV on this air conditioner right here that is a Coleman uh, Mach. And so it's simple. There's the, this unit actually just has five wires on it. So that's kind of how you, need, how you need to think of it. It might look a little intimidating. At the end of the day, it's five wires. So Soft Start RV has a lot of information uh, as it relates to install that you should have got with your kit. So you can always check that out and go watch their videos as well. If you have a different type of AC unit, then the uh, install may be a little bit different as it relates to which wires go where. So keep that in mind, this video may, does not apply to all AC units. Uh, certainly step number one is turn the AC unit off. I like to cut the power completely to my RV before I get started on a project like this. And, uh, and so let's go ahead and get started and get this soft start RV installed on this unit. So the first thing that you need to do is, or it's a good idea to just go ahead and print the instructions. I took a picture of them on my phone, so you'll see me referring to this. And uh, so step one of this process is that I need to take the blue, yellow, and black wires from the soft start and I need to uh, run it into the area where the run capacitor is, which is going to be right through this area here. Now, what I did is I went ahead and before I started the project and went ahead and put on the end terminals here. So I think that's a good idea before you even get on top of the RV to go ahead and install these. So obviously we gotta take the cover off of the AC. So whatever you gotta do to make that happen, I've already done it. And then uh, I've already taken the side panel off uh, to where the run capacitor is. And so now it is time to run the uh, black, yellow, and blue wire from the soft start uh, into the run capacitor area. So whatever you gotta do to make that happen, uh, go ahead and get started with that while I do it here. All right, so I'm looking at my instructions again here, and it says that I need to remove the white wire from the run capacitor. Sounds easy enough. Here's the run capacitor. Here is the white wire, and so I'm just removing that. And then step two says that I now need to connect uh, the white wire to the blue wire from the soft start that I just ran through. Now this one already has a uh, terminal that I had installed, uh, as you can see, so it's already got it in here that should fit this white terminal on here uh, quite easily. So I'll just slide that on there. So the white was removed from the run capacitor and the white was connected to the blue wire from the soft start. And the next step is to take the uh, black wire and, uh, and put it to where we just pulled the white wire off of the run capacitor. So that makes sense. Uh, the black wire from the soft start is right here. And I'm gonna put it where I pulled the white wire from, which was right here in front of this yellow wire. And I'm just going to slide that onto the run capacitor. Okay, we're doing good. The next step is I need to take the yellow wire from the soft start and connect it to the terminal by the red wire in the run capacitor. So here is my yellow wire from the soft start, and it says that I need to connect it next to the red wire on the run capacitor. So here's my red wire. So I just need to connect it to one of these other terminals, just like that. Easy stuff, we're doing good here. 
All right, so there's three wires down. Look, we only have two more wires to go, this brown and red wire here. And so uh, let's figure out where, where these go. So if I look at my instructions again, uh, it says that uh, I need to locate the blue or, or black compressor wire and uh, trace it uh, back uh, into where th this area is. So this is my compressor here. And apparently this wire can either be blue or black. As far as I can tell, it's black. So it's this one right here. And what I need to do is I need to follow this wire in to here. And you really need to get this right. Let's see. Okay, let's see. Is that it right here? Nope. Is this it here? Yes, that's it right there. Okay. This is the black wire from... There we go. This is the black wire from the uh, compressor. And so what I am going to do is I am going to cut this wire. That's where things start getting serious. To where I have access to uh, the both ends here uh, so that I can connect the additional two wires from the run start. And what I'm going to do, and let me double check here, I'm going to connect the brown wire of the soft start is going to be connected. So if, let's say I just cut it right here. The brown wire from the soft start is going to go on the end that goes back to the compressor. And the red wire from the soft start is going to go to uh, the other end. So I'm going to have to splice uh, some wire here to do that. And uh, also wanted to point out that soft start comes with all of your uh, little bits and pieces that you're going to need to make this happen. Uh, all of these little uh, end pieces that I'd already put on to the other three wires came in this kit. And then I'm also going to be using uh, these two white pieces here to connect my final two wires. All right, let's get going here. It's time to cut the wire. So uh, let's cut it about right here. There we go. Again, I encourage you to double check which wire you're cutting before you do it. This has got to be the one going back to the compressor. And I know that that is the case. And so now it is time to splice uh, this wire right here. It's always good to have a good set of splicers. And this is the Southwire brand of a uh, splicer that I have here. And it can make a job much easier if I can see. Also, a good set of eyes makes this type of job a bit easier. There we go. Put that in there. Go around. Just like that. And I need to do that this end too. This ought to be a little easier because i got a little more room to work with. There we go. Okay. Okay, the brown wire from the soft start, which is right here. These all untangled. We'll clean all this up once we're done here. Is going to go to the compressor side of the black wire. So basically, I'm just going to put those two together right there and use the included connector here. I will say that it is always good to have a good set of crimpers 
uh, too. You can get away with something maybe uh, less than this, um, but this is designed for crimping uh, these, these type of uh, ends right here. And so I know that I'm going to get a good solid crimp. All right, so uh, I'm gonna run this brown wire uh, back through the back side here and that way it will clean things up. So if, uh, if the hole that you had to work with here is a little tight and you might have to work with it a little bit, it's all part of the process and the fun though. Okay. Now, we're getting there folks. Now I am going to use my trusty crimper. Actually, my father-in-law's trusty crimper. To bring these two pieces together. Mix them together here like this and up in here. Give it a good twist to make sure they're up in there, right? And now this is where a good crimper comes in handy. You're going to love this part. And you're not going to love it if you don't have a good crimper. But I do. And therefore I know that that's on there, not going anywhere. All right, one more wire and we're done. Again, I think the key to this whole thing here is to read over the instructions and watch the video uh, from Soft Start just a few times, get an idea of what they're talking about, maybe even come up here and, and uh, take a few pictures of your run capacitor and your uh, compressor so that you can look at the pictures while you're watching the install videos, get a real clear picture of kind of what's going on. Because at the end of the day, even though it might look a little intimidating, again, we're just talking about five wires here. It's not hard at all. The other thing that I want to point out is that if you feel uncomfortable with this type of operation, then you could pay somebody to do it. Or Soft Start has uh, a uh, support level that you could actually set up an appointment with them and someone will actually get on the phone with you while you're on the, the roof of your RV and walk you through the entire install. So I think that that level of support is... Uh, is perfect and one of the reasons that we choose uh, soft start is because of their sport i'm going to run this final wire through the uh, back hole here and i have enough room but i'm gonna tell you what it's barely getting excited about using this though okay made it through and I'm gonna twist these together. All right, once again, let's get these twisted together. The included cap here, the proper crimp that makes this so much easier. And all right, so that completes the install as it relates to the wiring. Now we need to clean this up a little bit here. Uh, and so you can take the time to do that. Uh, it comes with, well, three zip ties. If you need more, you can get those at the local hardware market. Uh, we are gonna need to uh, basically install the unit on the side of the housing here. Uh, it comes with this 3M tape, and it comes with screws if you want to screw it in there. I'll probably use the 3M tape, see how that works. I'm sure it will work good. Uh, I believe that I'm going to put my soft start right here on the housing. Uh, it needs to either be up and down, or sideways, but never upside down. Uh, or else you might get moisture in this area here. So I think I'm going to install mine like just up and down and right in this area. But before we do that, we need to test it because all the wiring's done. And uh, I am looking for some particular lights here on the soft start. And I need to refer back to uh, my manual here on my phone. 
and it says that uh, let's see okay I'm looking for uh, to confirm that a green light uh, is on is that what I'm looking for that must be this here yep okay well I'm gonna read over this and make sure but bottom line is it's time to test it and uh, so that means I need to give power back to the RV and I need to start the AC unit and then uh, and then it is just gonna work I know it is because I know we installed it correctly and then we'll just clean this up and we'll be done So that's the complete install on the Soft Start RV. And as you can see, once uh, the covers go back on, it, the install looks uh, quite nice there. So we're looking forward to a lot of, of good years of use out of this. Again, you can get the Soft Start RV from TechnoRV.com. And this install, I would say, took no more than, say, about 30 minutes.